Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today we are going to be talking a little bit about 7.2 because of course the big announcement of the day is that 7.2 is hitting live servers on March 28th and I feel like there's a couple things you might want to know about it before it goes live. So I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do remember to rate it thumbs up. For those of you who maybe are not up to speed on everything related to 7.2, I'm going to have a couple videos linked in the info below to help you get caught up. And if you want to watch those and then come back to this video and feel a little more educated and whatnot, I mean more power to you, but you could also do what I do in situations where I don't know what's going on and that's smile and nod and say yeah every once in a while and then people totally think you know what's going on. You know, a, a pinnacle was, was Force Awakens. Yeah. So. New weapon drops and other expansions? Yeah. You know, you have toads running around, you have yeah. big fish. It's it's for real. Like oh, they yeah. are gonna be in this kind of weird yeah. valley between original characters and revamp characters. Yeah. Now that we get that out of the way, the first thing I think everybody needs to know about 7.2 is that Tomb of Sargeras will not be debuting on the 28th with 7.2. It's a little bit misleading since the patch is named Tomb of Sargeras, but I mean it'll come eventually during 7.2, just not with the launch of it. Think of it kind of like how Nighthold didn't come out in 7.1, it came out in 7.15, but it was all the Nighthold storylines, the events leading up to Nighthold, that's what we're going to see with the Tomb of Sargeras. The next thing I think is important to know about 7.2 is on the same line of thinking as the first one, and that is that you will still be able to get the achievement ahead of the curve, Gul'dan, even after March 28th. You'll be able to get that until much closer to Tomb of Sargeras coming out, so if your guild has not gotten that achievement yet, it's fine, you still have time, do not panic. The next notable thing about 7.2 is that several important items are not going to be usable in 7.2 if they were earned prior to the patch's release. This means that those Broken Isle faction rep tokens, if you're already exalted, they're not going to work in 7.2, so there's no point in stockpiling them. Uh, if they are the ones that are account bound, you may as well send them to an alt, and if they're soul bound, just use them or sell them for nothing or something because they're not going to work. This also applies to artifact power tokens, I know a lot of people who were already maxed out on their artifact weapon, didn't want to use their power on an alt weapon, they wanted to use it on their main weapon and just kind of wait until 7.2 when there were more artifact points to spend, but it has already been announced that in 7.2, artifact power items that are earned prior to that patch's release are not going to be usable. So do not save your soulbound rep tokens if you're exalted, do not save your AP items because they're just not going to work. And I know that sucks, I don't agree with that, but I'm just the messenger, so please don't shoot me, thanks. <laughs> fourth thing worth mentioning about 7.2 is that the dual trait artifact relics that everyone was so <laughs> excited about have been completely scrapped. Apparently the RNG element to how it determined which traits were on the relics was just too much to balance I guess or too much to implement in a meaningful way. I don't know, I'm not a game developer. They did say that they wanted to implement them somehow in the future but until they find a way to do it well, they don't want to do it at all. So sorry if you were looking forward to that because it's not happening. <laughs> On a more positive note, obviously one of the things in 7.2 that players are most excited for is Broken Isles Pathfinder Part 2, which will unlock the ability to fly in Legion content. Now since we last spoke about this, the requirements for Broken Isles Pathfinder Part 2 have been significantly reduced. Blizzard stated that they wanted Broken Isles Pathfinder Part 1 to be the bulk of the requirement, so they just kind of nerfed the crap out of Part 2. You won't have to collect as many nether shards, you won't have to do as many quests, and your reputation with Armies of Legion Fall will only need to be revered as opposed to exalted, plus one of the buildings that you build on the Broken Shore will increase your rep gain with that faction by 30%. So all in all, you will be flying much faster and sooner than previously anticipated. So, I mean, that, that's a good thing. This next thing may seem a little bit silly to some people, but if you did a bunch of the pre-launch Legion invasions and stockpiled a bunch of nether shards, those nether shards are the same ones that we're going to be earning in 7.2, so you are ahead of everybody a little bit. Good job. Good thinking ahead. 
And the last thing worth mentioning about 7.2 requires a little bit of context, so follow me, alright? So in 7.2, Karazhan is being split into two dungeons, upper and lower, and being given a mythic plus difficulty. Now, a lot of people were very concerned that the Nightbane mount would no longer be obtainable, and Blizzard hadn't said anything about it. This was one of the most popular questions that I've gotten on 7.2 since I posted my very first video on it, so I reached out to Warcraft devs and I got an answer, and Nightbane's mount will still be obtainable in 7.2 on mythic difficulty, but not on mythic plus difficulty. So there you have it, folks. If you haven't gotten Nightbane's mount yet, you still have time. It's not going anywhere. Praise the dragon aspects. <laughs> And that is it for my video on things that I feel like you might want to know about 7.2 before it launches on March 28th. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please rate it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, let me know in the comments section below what you think the most important change that everybody should know about that's coming in 7.2 is, because I want to know, is it on my list? Is it not on my list? Maybe I don't know it. Who knows? I'm a human. I make so many mistakes. I don't know so many things. I am Jon Snow, and I know nothing. All right, I'm going to go. I hope you're having a wonderful wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my heart. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 Today I'm going to be talking. If you want to watch this first and come back here, have at it, etc. Then people totally think that you're at least lis listening. I don't know. Anyways, those are the things. Broken shit, dang it. Happy 7.2 if I don't see you again before patch day, although I should. If I don't see you again before patch day, the, the fuck. I feel like for a long time I've been doing so good on my outros and here I am screwing up the outro again.